Do you feel caught up in the swing back and forth of like difficult, painful emotions within you? There is a way to rise above them, to break three of that push and pull of their rhythm. And in this video, I want to introduce you to the method and way that you can learn and develop to do so. There is a concept of mental transmutation that allows us to change and alter the emotions within us into higher levels so that we can move beyond that which we, we may feel is painful and difficult and towards that which is light and loving and, and positive in effect for us. You may be familiar with the idea that fear and excitement are essentially the same. There's this idea that um, athletes, if they have a sense of fear before a race, rather than holding the fear and keeping it within and allowing it to um, take them away from being present, they evolve it and change it. They reframe it into um, excitement. And it's that excitement that drives them forward, that supports them in the moment to be successful um, within the race. So this is a form of mental transmutation. So I want to come to a book called The Kabbalion that talks a lot about um, this process of transmutation that we can develop in our lives. In discussing the hermetic principle of rhythm that we alluded to earlier in terms of the, the ebb and flow of life, the back and forth of our emotions. The Kabbalion introduces the law of neutralization, which is a form of mental transmutation. The Kabbalion says the following, its operations, that is the operations of the law of neutralization, consist in the raising of the ego above the vibrations of the unconscious plane of mental activity, so that the negative swing of the pendulum is not manifested in consciousness, and therefore they are not affected. It is akin to rising above a thing and letting it pass beneath you. The hermetic master or advanced student polarizes himself at the desired pole and by a process of refusing uh, to participate in the backward swing, or if you prefer, a denial of its influence over him, he stands firm in his polarized position and allows the mental pendulum to swing back along the unconscious plane. All individuals who have attained any degree of self-mastery accomplish this, more or less unknowingly, and by refusing to allow their moods and negative mental states to affect them, they apply the law of neutralization. So let's unpack that a little bit. In talking about the law of neutralization, the Kabbalion refers to the conscious level and the unconscious level of mind. And it, at the unconscious level, it talks of the swing of the pendulum of our emotions. And it's that rhythm and swing that we are often caught in. We're caught in the unconscious ebbs and flows of the emotions of our lives. But then when it's referring to the law of neutralization, we sit at the conscious plane. We become aware of the ebb and flow of the emotions in our unconscious. And we, when the pendulum reaches its backward swing, its highest point before it goes into this backward swing, the master or the advanced student, it says here, chooses to hold on, to, to not to deny and to refuse to participate in the backward swing. So it is that mental refusal and denial at the conscious level that is the transmutation. It's not that at the unconscious level, the backward swing doesn't occur, but it's that you hold consciously the, the pole, the, the level that you want to attain to. 
and this creates the transmutation of your emotions. So I simply introduce to you today these concepts, the concept of the law of neutralization as a part of mental transmutation to keep you on the higher plane of life and to not be influenced by this ebb and flow of the emotions that have got gone adrift in our lives. The more you exercise these principles, the more the ebbs and flows will become controlled and will become evolved and tra transmuted, changed to the flow that you truly desire and you truly want to experience. You'll rise to higher levels of peace and flow and love. Reflect on it for yourself. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos. I'll certainly seek to evolve and discuss further this idea of mental transmutation and um, evolution in our, in our being and flow of life. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again soon.